Hi everyone, it's Mary from Rary's Craft Studio. I wanted to come on and do a quick video uh, to show you this cute little votive holder that I got from uh, Tonic Studios. It's, um, hopefully you can see the detail. This is the butterfly. It's really cute and easy to make. It's one of their designer choices. Um, and I um, the designer choice, I did one before. Um, it's a special set that they come out with and it's reasonably priced. It's like $16 and that includes, um, I think it was $2 for shipping, something like that. Um, it's packaged plainly, but um, they're always um, really cute. And this one is called the uh, Vibrant Votive. I don't know why vibrant, but um, so it has um, a rose pattern or a butterfly pattern. And this one has the butterfly pattern. Hopefully you can see. Um, and then what I'm going to make for you is got the uh, rose pattern. And the nice thing about this is you can make the small, this is um, four sides, or you can make a big one, a six-sided one. If you do the six-sided one, you need three panels. Um, if you make the small square one, you only need the two panels. And then you decide whether you want to use the insert of the rose or the insert of the butterfly. It also comes with a small handle uh, that you can attach for the square one um, or the big handle if you may choose to make the big box, um, the votive holder. And then of course you wouldn't want to use a real candle. So you want to use the little electronic votives uh, to put in it. And I'll show you in this one. Oops. Of course, you have to put it in right. But it makes, it's really pretty. I think this is a really cute size, you know, for a dining room table or a mantle. So let's get to it and turn this off. This is really simple to make. All you need, let me put this aside. We're gonna do the square one. So you need the two panels. And as you can see, um, this one's got the rows. So you need two of the panels and two of the bottoms because you're going to want a bottom on the inside and a bottom on the outside to cover the seams. So the first thing you want to do is these score real nice. And so you want to fold on the score line and then burnish with a bone folder. That's the side. And then the bottom. You want to use um, a card stock that has some weight to it. Um, 
You don't want to do something that's really thin and flimsy. You want to have something that's going to have some strain to it so that it sets up nice. And you're going to This one's a little bit thicker than the glitter was. So I want to be a little bit more careful when I bend it. Make sure I get it right on the crease line. So that's the one panel. And then we'll do the same with the second panel. You can also make these so that you can, I have mine where it's open, but you can uh, have a, a regular card behind it and just have um, the, the etched filigree kind of uh, side out. Um, also, you could line it with um, vellum, which would be real pretty. Um, you'd still be able to see the light, um, but it would just be like a diffused light. This little part is not cooperating. There we go. Would help if I didn't have a bum finger. I noticed too, depending on what you're using, um, the glitter, I used uh, tacky glue and it worked fine. But on this mirror card, I'm going to end up using um, double-sided tape. All right, so we've got our two panels. And this part here that we just folded, you want to put on the straight side of, of this one. So you want it to go over like that. And then we want to match up the bottom. Want to match up the bottom here. So we're going to put a little tape. If you want, you can use tape and then some glue on it. Um, I'm just going to use the double-sided tape. It seems to hold just fine. All right, so we're lining up this right there, the bottom of it, making sure that we get the seam just right. That looks about right. All right. Then we'll do the same with this side. Put some tape on this side. Not sure why I ended up using gold again since I had done the first one in gold. Um, considering that purple is my favorite color. But since these are so easy and fast to make, um, you can make them different colors for different holidays. You know, red for Valentine's Day, red and green 
for Christmas or blue and white. All right, so again, we want to make sure we line the end up. And there we go. And then you want to make sure that your tabs are inside when we put the piece down. And I like to put the gold facing up and then the gold facing down. That's just me. You can do it any way you want. If you want the white, match the white on the inside. Um, but I like I like to have the nice, nice part showing. I, I think it reflects the light better also. I wanted to, somebody had asked me, and I wanted to mention, um, I'm not an, don't have an affiliation with any company. Um, a lot of um, the people that make videos, you know, get free product, and they're um, affiliates of the different companies, and everything that I have that I show, I've bought myself. Um, I don't have an affiliation with anybody, so if I'm showing it, it's because I like, love it, and I bought it. Um, or I bought it, and maybe I don't love it so much, but so far that hasn't happened. Um, but everything um, I've purchased. All right. So this gets a little bit tricky. You want to get it down in the bottom and then I use this old basic gray roller. It has a nice flat edge so that I can get in get the corners down and get them on those see perfect and then you're going to turn it over and then we're going to do the same thing but I'm going to put um, it'll be this way and it'll cover that nicely And you won't even see those little seams. So we're just going to go around on this one just like we did the other one. Two more sides. I think this is still available. Um, I bought it a couple of weeks ago uh, from Tonic. Um, some of the things sell out really quick. And some of them um, they keep for a while. I'm not sure if it's they do so much stock of some. And, um, and they, this, went over a little bit so I'm going to cut this off. I'm not sure if they have limited stock on some things or other things they have more stock of. I'm not quite sure how they work that.
And one more. All right. And we want to make sure that that goes down straight. And I'm going to use this again so that I can make sure it's all down and glued. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And then we'll put our little tea light on. And there you go. Hopefully you can see it. But it's so pretty and it's so easy to make. And I think they make, uh, make a set of them cute gifts also. So, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.